Hey guys, welcome to this really quick presentation. Um, pardon the background noise, I'm working at my favorite cafe here in London. Um, and I was doing some research about Power BI and Jet Enterprise for uh, a client of mine. And I came across a feature that was so exciting, I said, you know what, I gotta stop everything, I have to let you guys know. Um, in any event, my name's Jay Wilson. Uh, you can reach me at jae at onyxreporting.com. Um, and in this presentation today, I want to talk a little bit about this feature called Direct Query in Power BI. Now before I get into that, um, as you can see from my screen, we're obviously still in Excel. I've got the JET 2017 ribbon loaded. Um, for those of you who are on JET Enterprise, hopefully you have this button here, Pivot Table, that you're well familiar with, that allows you to pull a pivot table into your spreadsheet, right? And just because everybody understands sales, we'll pull in the sales queue. Um, and one of the things that makes your enterprise so great is that all of your measurements, all of the ways of analyzing your data have been um, predefined and are now accessible um, through a pivot table. So, you know, this is, this is old hat. We'll click on sales amount and we'll t show lifetime sales. We'll scroll down, we'll find salesperson and we can really quickly, you know, slice or slice our data by salesperson, right? It's a pivot table that's pointed at the Jet Enterprise cubes. And that data is extracting data out of your transactional database, whether it's Dynamics NAV or AX or GP, right? The whole point of Jet Enterprise is to, to give you this ability to slice and dice and analyze your data in pivot tables. Now, the conversation I'm having with one of my um, customers is they say, you know, the, these spreadsheets in Excel, they're good, but we want something a little bit more robust when it comes to building dashboards. We want something a little bit more interactive, but that's not too flexible for, for users where it's really easy, you know, if I've built a really, you know, structured report, it's so easy to, you know, drag and remove something, for example. Um, and the drill down ability, and it's, it's more work than we want, especially as we start having three or four or five um, charts or tables in the same um, Excel spreadsheet. And some of you are now hopefully um, considering Power BI, which is Microsoft's latest and greatest self-service business intelligence tool. Um, I think for a lot of Jet clients, the, the toss-up is between Power BI or Jet Mobile. Um, so if you evaluated Power BI earlier this year, it was okay. Um, because it's such a new product, um, there's new features being added all the time, literally monthly almost. A new release of Power BI is coming out that's updating functionality, adding new functionality that previously didn't exist. So for those of you who were really early adopters and looked at Power BI, um, even as late as, uh, I want to say June, there's a new feature that you absolutely have to know about. So um, what I've got open here, I've got the Power BI desktop open. You can see here I've got um, a couple of charts going on. It's the same sales cube. And of course, when I, what makes Power BI so great is when I start clicking on things, you'll notice all of a sudden everything starts filtering, everything starts changing. Um, and to build this, um, for starters, Power BI Desktop is free. I'm not paying any sort of subscription. You can literally go to Microsoft's website, download and install Power BI Desktop. The money comes when you start talking about, okay, well, how am I going to deploy it in my enterprise environment? And that's a longer conversation that I don't really want to get into. Um, but this new feature that I wanted to talk about is the direct connection. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new um, model here in Power BI. And the first thing it's going to ask me is, where is your data? Now, the brilliant thing about Power BI is that it works with your existing Jet Enterprise environment. You don't have to buy any more software. I'm going to go ahead and click on Database. I'm going to click on Analysis Services. And I'm going to put in the address to my Jet Enterprise cube. So it's SQL 26. Nope. I lied. Localhost. SQL 2016 RC3. Okay, that's where my 
um, Jet Enterprise Cubes are. And you want to make sure that this option, Connect Live, is selected. Um, actually, what I'm going to do before I cl click Connect Live, I'm going to choose the Import Data option. And this is the option that I think many of us were familiar with um, when Power BI first came out. And it's actually what kind of turned us off to the original releases of Power BI. So when I click on Import Data here, it says, oh, you've got a cube. This is my um, nav cube. If I s select it, you see here, here are all of my cubes. Here's my sales cube. And what you had to do previously is you had to go through and choose each measure individually that you wanted to add into any sort of, uh, into, your, into your data model in Power BI. And, it's, and it builds a table and it does the thing. You know, you'll choose all of your dimensions. You'll choose load. And you'll notice over here on the right, you, you have what kind of looks like the fields in a pivot table. But you don't have everything. You know, profit, oh, sorry, not profit, posting data isn't selected. Business posting group isn't in here. Um, the model that is created in the SSAS cubes, the model that we see over here in Excel, previously um, we didn't have access to that model. And that's because we're importing the data into a new model that we have to define in Power BI Desktop. And that's, for me, that was a non-start. That's why I didn't want to use Power BI when it first came out. I'm going to make a new um, model here. And what's super exciting is that Power BI now supports, fully supports multidimensional cubes. Um, when I choose Get Data here this time, when I choose Analysis Services, I'm going to do the same thing again, localhost, SQL 2016, RC3. I'm going to choose Connect Live. And that's the, that's the new and shiny. Choose Connect Live. When you do that, this selection process looks the same. Notice here that the entire data model is there. All of the measures that I have in Excel, all of the dimensions, and even the hierarchies that exist in Excel um, are now part and uh, available in my Power BI model. I don't have to recreate things from scratch. This is huge. Um, let me swap over to this guy here, right? So again, all of the things that made Power BI Power BI really sexy and exciting, this idea of actually creating proper dashboards, actually having proper KPIs um, that you can just drag and drop from this list of visualizations. A lot of the stuff that Jet Mobile does, Power BI does as well. And the, the thing that I'm really talking about is the fact that this direct query allows me to see the entire data model all in one place. So for those of you who are, have invested in Jet Enterprise, and you say, you know what, these pivot tables are good, but I want something a little bit more robust, something that I can actually, you know, create a file and then start sharing with people, um, Power BI might be the way to go. It is freemium. Let me spell that out so you can read that. <laughs> it is freemium, which is a gradient scale between free and premium. Um, but the really brilliant thing about this direct query is that all the work that you did in Jet Enterprise to create a model, it still exists. You can recycle it. You don't have to start from scratch. Anyway, if you have any more questions about it or you want to talk to me about it, I'm super excited um, to, at this new feature here in Power BI. Feel free to reach out to me at jae at onyxreporting.com. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you later.